Michelle Smith and welcome to my channel. I have a St. Patrick's Day large gnome for you today. I'm going to show you how to take this and transform it into this by using Dollar Tree supplies or your glue gun and glue stick, a good pair of scissors and some wire cutters, a little cup for paint and a paintbrush, the materials that you're going to need, a large plastic container. This is a premium margarita cocktail mix. It is 1.75 liters or 59.2 fluid ounces. You just want something that's large enough and that the opening is wide enough to hold the head of the mop. And you'll see that as we go. Then you're going to need a mop head from the Dollar Tree. You're going to need some black felt. I got this from the Crafter Square section at the Dollar Tree. You're going to need one of these little pots of gold. They come in a five pack from the Dollar Tree. A handful of the coins. Some floral wire, it doesn't matter what color. You're going to need some paint, khaki, or something for the nose. I have apple barrel khaki. This is the only thing that doesn't come from the Dollar Tree. I picked this up from Walmart. The apple barrel paint, two fluid ounces, is 50 cents. You're going to need two packages of the St. Patrick's Day bandanas. and these came with another one that had a lot of print on it that said Irish blessings, luck of the Irish, that type of thing. These were left over. I'm going to be using both of these. And then I picked this up from the Dollar Tree around fall, and it's some burlap. I know the Dollar Tree doesn't carry the burlap all the time. Walmart also carries burlap inexpensively, so you can get it there. Or you can always substitute and use a different type of bandana. And then you're going to need some ping pong balls and a little bit of some jute cord. Okay, let me get cleaned up and we will get started. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is go ahead and uh, put your paint in some form of container and go ahead and paint one of the ping pong balls. I've already gone ahead and done that. I'm letting it dry so it'll be nice and dry when we work with it. So go ahead and paint that and set that aside to dry. The next thing that we're going to work on is the clothes for the gnome. I'm going to use one of these bandanas to make his hat and the other one to make his shirt. And then the burlap I'm going to use to kind of make his trousers. So the first thing that you want to do is we're going to trim off one of the ends and you're going to want at least three of the stripes. So go just below the third stripe and go ahead and cut across. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to take your floral wire. You're going to stretch it out and you're going to measure it. And you need it about three inches longer than the bandana. And then go ahead and cut that. Then you're going to want to fold the nice side on the inside and fold the two sides together. And then we're going to run a hot bead of glue and seal that. So just line it up. It's easy if you just do a little bit at a time. Run a couple inches. Go ahead and place it down. 
I really like this tool when I'm hot gluing. It is a Betty Crocker scraper spatula. You can find it at the Dollar Tree in the kitchen section. It's made of 100% silicone. And it works very well when you're hot gluing so that you don't burn yourself. Okay, once you get that done, you just want to double check and make sure you didn't miss anything. Okay, then you're going to want to go ahead and turn that inside out so that the knife side is showing and that you have a finished edge. So the next thing that we're going to want to do is go ahead and cut a strip of the felt. We need to cut out two sets of mittens for hands. And I'm just going to go ahead and fold it in half. So as I cut each one, I have a pair. And then just go ahead and freehand your mitten. Okay, so I have a little mitten. And since I folded it in half, that's my one set. Now they are going to get glued together, so it's, it's best that you cut a set at a time. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut another one, and I'll be right back. I have my little mittens cut. Let's set those aside. Now I'm going to take my base. If you want to weight this down, you can. You can put uh, probably stones in here. I'm not going to bother. I am just going to be in a place where it's not going to get knocked. So now I'm going to take the remaining piece that I have from what I cut, and I'm going to start to attach that to the base here. I want this up on the, the top part. There's plenty of material left. So I'm just going to start by putting a bead of glue across the widest part here. I want it to be nice and smooth down here. So that's why I'm making sure I attach it at the widest part first. Put another little bead down. Lay that over. side, do the same thing. Okay. And then cut off any excess. Okay, now when I lay this side down, I'm going to want to fold that end I just cut under. So it leaves me with a nice clean line. Now you only need this to come down about halfway, so you can go ahead and trim off the bottom. And just go ahead and finish tacking it down. Now that you have the excess off, just try to keep it nice and smooth. To do the top here, Go ahead and just cut a piece of the jute cord. I'm going to pull everything together around the top. Wrap the jute cord around and tie it. Remove any excess. 
Next thing you want to do is go ahead and lay out your burlap. This is going to go around the bottom. I want enough that I can fold it over and have a clean edge of the top. And then also have enough to wrap around the very bottom. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is fold the very top over so I can have a nice clean edge. And now that I place this over, I can still see my little plastic tag underneath. So I'm going to wrap the bottom here with some paper towel first and then wrap my burlap. Because I do not want to see my sticker there. I don't mind seeing a little lighter color underneath, but I don't want to see the sticker. Okay, so I went over it twice to make sure that I couldn't see the sticker through. Now I'm just going to fold in and tack down the bottom. Okay, so that's nice and covered. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the burlap. When you get to the side here, you want to come cut off any excess and then just take the end and fold it over so you have another clean line. Okay, so I've covered the bottom with the burlap. You just want to take your time and make sure you glue it down nicely. Then you want to go ahead and go pull up, make sure that this is nice and snug and firm. Set that aside. Then you're going to go ahead and take the little tube that you made and the wire. You're going to go ahead and stuff the wire in. You're going to want to go ahead and grab the end. You're going to want to go ahead and curl that in. You don't want to have a sharp piece there. So it looks like that on both ends. Okay, then you're going to need some cotton balls. And we're going to go ahead and stuff in a couple on the end here. You don't want to stuff it all the way. Your three squares in the middle, you don't need to stuff. Okay, because that's going to be on the back. You just want to stuff where the arms are going to be. Okay, and then once you've fed in about eight, you're going to cut a little piece of twine and you're going to tie off the end there. And then just kind of play with the cotton. Kind of get it so it's a little evenly distributed. Okay, then any of the extra twine there or jute, just go ahead and trim that off. And then we're going to put our mittens on. So go ahead and lay down your mitten, put some hot glue down. Go ahead and lay your bar in there. Take the end of the bandana and the little round part of the bar. 
Then lay the other piece over the top. Line them up as best you can. Okay, so you have the little mitten on the end. And also the little bit of the bandana, and then it's stuffed. So we're going to be attaching it like that. So you need to make sure the stuffing is on this end and that you have the section in the back, three of the squares that don't have any stuffing. When you attach it, you want to make sure the thumb is up. Lay down a good amount of glue across the back. And lay your arms down. And pull it to the side here. The side that you have stuffed, you can work with and shape a little bit. Okay, and it's, since it's on a wire, you can adjust it. You just want to make sure it's tacked down. Okay, now you can see I need to cut my wire a little bit. It's a little too long. <clears throat> just cut the end off and then recurl. And go ahead and stuff in about eight more cotton balls on this side and you're going to do the same thing to this side once you get them in tie it off and then glue on your mittens okay i've got both mittens on now i'm going to put a little band around the hands i want to cover this part so just cut a piece of felt a couple inches long and about an inch and a half wide so fold it halfway in and then fold the other side over. And then go ahead and glue it down. And you have a nice little piece like this. And I'm just going to take this and put a hot dab of glue on the end. Start it on the inside of the wrist to cover that part up and just hold it there for a minute to set. And just wrap it around. And then cut any excess you want it to overlap on the inside. And just put a little dollop of glue. And go ahead and wrap it and attach it on the inside. Okay, so that's what we have so far. Okay, so now we're going to attach our mop head. Now that it has a circular part here and this part, I am going to fit, fit that in as much as I can and glue it down like that. So the first thing is I'm going to lift up and try to tuck in some of this bandana. Okay, then I'm just going to run a lot of glue right around the opening here. And right on the tip of the mop. And then glue that guy on there. Push it down as much as you can and hold it. Okay, then once you get it glued in, you just want to play with the mop a little bit. Pull forward what you want. I do want a little bit in the back. Okay, 
So the next thing we're going to do is make the hat. I just cut a nice strip of the black belt and I'm going to uh, make a brim for the hat. So I'm just going to go ahead and fold it in and then fold the other side in and over so I have a nice thick clean brim for my hat. And I'm just going to hot glue that down. Now, if you like crafts, DIYs, and hauls, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. I do upload new content every week. Now that'll give me a nice clean band for my hat. Okay, to do the hat, you want to go ahead and fold the bandana in half. And you're going to grab your little guy here. Go ahead and measure the base, how wide you're going to need that to get it around his head. that down and then take those two corners and pull it together. Go ahead and put a little bit of glue there so you know where you need it. And then just from that spot, go ahead and cut straight up. I'm going to take that excess off right now. And you're going to open it up and where you started the glue right on the outside, just kind of follow that up and start to glue everything together. Don't worry, we're going to turn it inside out so you won't see any messy sides. Okay, once you have that all glued down, if you have a lot of excess fabric, go ahead and trim that off. And once it's all cooled, you want to go back and check and make sure that you have a good seal all the way down. And I'm just going to set that aside for a minute and let it finish drying. And we're going to take our little uh, black cauldron here. I'm just going to take some paper towels. You can do a plastic bag or... Um, newspaper or anything like that. You just want to fill in the cavity so you don't have to use as many coins. Then I'm going to just go ahead and glue in some of these coins in on top here. Go ahead and glue them into position until it looks right. Until you have enough and you're happy with what it looks like. Okay, so I like that. And I'm going to set that aside and let that finish drying. And just go ahead and turn your hat inside out. Okay, so I've decided I want to add a little stuffing to my hat so it sits up a little higher. So I'm just going to take some paper towels and scrunch them up and stick them in there. I don't want it standing straight up, but I do want a little bit of height. Okay, so I've played with the hat. I have some paper towels in there to get it to stand up. I'm happy with it like that. So now I'm going to go ahead and glue on my little brim on my hat. I'm going to start in the middle here in the front. I'm just going to go ahead and hot glue it right on. Okay, I got the brim onto the hat and I went ahead and glued on the nose. I added a little gold coin to the tip of the hat and I glued a gold coin in one of his hands. 
Now I'm going to go ahead and put the little pot of gold in the other hand. Now because it's got the wire in there, you can just go ahead and bend that so that it will hold the pot. And just play with his arms however you want because they do have wire in there. You can bend them. And there you go. Isn't he adorable? Our little leprechaun gnome for St. Patty's Day. Now this guy is pretty big. He stands about 16 inches tall. I made him for my mantle. I think he's absolutely adorable. Well, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed that craft. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. I do upload new content every week. Thanks again for stopping by. It's always a pleasure to see you. You have a great day and I will catch you next time.